welcome to Code Rush Feature of the Week. What have we got this week, Mark? This week, Rory, we're going to show you reorder parameters. Okay. So I'm here in this method here, and it's called get double animation, and it's got some parameters here that are really in the wrong order. For example, yeah. to and from, those two parameters specify where we start and where we end in the animation. So they should be mm -hmm. closer together so the code is easier to read. Notice in the yep. calls to this method here, I'm passing in time to storyboard and from, and even in the calls outside to this one, I've got the yeah. same kind of thing happening, and even in the calls outside here, it, it just, it's hard to read when we see these numbers. So everything's completely functional. It's just, it doesn't read well. It's not easy to interpret when you hit it cold. Exactly. So what I want to do is I want to do reorder parameters. So we have a few methods we need to change. Fortunately, we can do this in any order, right? So I'm just going to mm -hmm. be here on this animate scale call, and I'm going to come in here and I'm going to choose reorder parameters. So I'm hitting the, the code rush key, bringing up the action menu. You can do this by hitting control plus the dot or num zero if you specified mm -hmm. that option in your code rush setup wizard, which you can get to right yep. here. If you haven't done it, please do that. So I'm going to put the carrot up here on one of the parameters, hit the code rush key, and I'm going to choose reorder parameters. And now the UI comes up and it's inside the source code. Notice there's a little yep. arrow pointing to the right showing I can move this to the right. And guess what key I hit to move that to the right, Rory? I'm going to go wild guess here. I'm going to say you use the right arrow key. Wow, that was actually correct. You get hey. a million pounds or dollars, <gasps> you know. Either's good. <laughs> and now, so I just hit the right arrow key several times. So I'm hitting left arrow key now to move it back, right? So I can move yeah. it like this. Now, to select a different parameter to move, I just hit the tab key. So I'm just hitting the tab sure. key now. And if I want to select a previous one, I just hold down the shift key and hit tab key. So now I can go back. And that's us, that's us making use of a perfectly established precedent because obviously we're, we're just shifting focus from one thing to the next with the tab key or shift tabbing to go backwards. We've seen this in Windows all the time when we've got uh, focus between different text boxes and indeed in web pages. And we see it in our own tab to next reference when we do a next reference, next reference, and previous again. So this is all established precedent already. Right. It's In other words, what Roy's saying is there's nothing new to learn. You've, that's it. Right? This is easy to do. <laughs> the other thing that's very cool about this, notice that there is no modal dialogue smacking up in front of my code, stopping me from looking mm -hmm. at the code. Right? Yeah. Um, and also, the other problem with like modal dialogues when you're talking about reordering, reordering parameters is they often present a list of parameters that's vertically aligned. And as yeah. developers, we're used to seeing our parameters horizontally aligned, mm -hmm. right? All next to each other on the line there. Um, and so this interface is much faster to use than it's much faster to use than traditional interfaces for reordering for reordering parameters, and mm -hmm. uh, it's more, it's it's also it's more, more familiar, right? It's in a model yeah. that's already familiar to you. Now, once I get these in the right order, I can hit Enter to commit, or I can press Escape to cancel. So if I were to hit Escape. We just go back to the original and nothing changes. Mm -hmm. But if I were to commit that, so let's go ahead and get these back in the order that I want them to be. So we'll say we want the from before the to, and maybe we say the time at the very end like that, right? And now sure. I just hit enter. And now you may have noticed down at the bottom here, the calls to animate scale has been updated right here. Mm -hmm. So now we're sending in an order that makes sense. We're going to animate from 1.0 to 1.5, which in the call now is easier to read than it was before, because before it was, these yeah. were all mixed up. Okay, do the same thing down in here in the call to get double animation, come down here, and let's go in here, we're gonna say reorder parameters, and we're gonna get that uh, go from and to, bring the property path over there, time at the end to be consistent with the previous ones, and I hit enter, and you may have noticed this. Now, yeah. the cool thing about this refactoring is I don't actually have to be on the method declaration. I can be on a call sure. to a method and reorder the parameters. So here, for example, I've got a call. I've got a call down to this method down here, right? So being mm -hmm. with the caret on the call on one of the parameters, I'm going to hit the code rush key, choose reorder parameters, and I'm just going to bring this in. I'm going to take time out over here. Uh, Very nice. I'm going to take the two uh, after the from the storyboard at the beginning. Hit enter, and when I hit that, uh, you can watch this down here get updated. There it is, right there. Mm -hmm. So it updates everything in the solution. Very fast, very nice, uh, as Roy says. 
um, that's reorder parameters. It's great. You select it from the code rush menu, which you get the code rush key, nice and simple. You've got left and right obvious keys. You've got escape to cancel. You've got enter to confirm. You can trigger this from any sensible location. So from the signature of a method or from the arguments for the call site, all of this is where you'd expect and what you'd expect. There's virtually no learning to do here at all. And you get exactly what you need. It's, it's going to alter the call sites as well. So your code remains as bulletproof as it was, only now it's more readable than ever before. Exactly. It's awesome. That's fantastic, Mark. Thank you very much. We'll see you next week on Code Rush Feature of the Week. For more Feature of the Week videos, click one of the two video links on screen or select from our playlist. Download and learn more about Code Rush from the DevExpress website. And be sure to subscribe to our channel to receive all the latest Code Rush feature videos. Thanks for watching. See you next time.